you know, so t- t- tell them all. Yeah. Now that we're live. <laughs> yeah. What you said about their mom. Yeah. About <laughs> the stream chat's mom. <laughs> lovely woman. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Or not. Your, it's also entirely possible, really. Your mom is a classy lady. Well. No. Depend- I mean, you know, I've met bad people who are moms. And I feel like the qualifier is very low. Qualifier for being a mom is uh, anyone can do it almost, I would say. Um, 50-50% of the population. At least. You know, we can... Um, I, I think a little bit less, actually, but, you know. 50-50 is generous. <laughs> Ouchie. Well, well. To be fair. Right. But also the definition of a parent, right? Are yeah. you a parent yeah. because you give birth to a child? Or are you a parent because you raise a child well? You know, that's just a um, whole discussion that you've clearly opened us into, Jonas, because you uh, have a great feeling. Yes, about let's, it. let's talk. And also, I want to bring up abortion tonight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and the deficit. Uh, you so, hear two white, white male Scandinavians tell you about yes. these, <laughs> these hard hitting issues in other parts of the world. Yeah. Uh, we'd be avoiding our own strange privilege. Yeah. Which is the, Greatest nations in the world with the greatest living standard. Well, like, it's like Finland and New Zealand. Well, guess what? You have come to the right place <laughs> because <laughs> we provide. <laughs> Welcome to, to the woke cast. With, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the white privilege cast. With, <laughs> uh, we were also woke in the morning. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, let's see. I had Drika, I had Dirtha hanging out. Hmm. Did I have plans for Durst? I don't think so. His plans was just hang out, pretty much. What? Also, what are you? Durst should go fight, man. Like he's he's a big boy. He is, but I my finances currently can't handle big boys like Durst. Durst the Lost. <laughs> yep, Durst the Lost. He's lost in the forest. He's gonna be my elf, uh, my elf dude because the Lost gives him bonuses to elf troops. The only one in my my entire faction that can. I'm actually gonna gonna try some uh, some classic wood elf stuff with this guy. That's the plan. Well, the, the palace there is very unhappy right now. It, you know, we. Um, Still, I mean, I can rebuild it if it if it leaves you. Mm. <laughs> uh, let's see why. Ev- oh, it's the confederation. They're incredibly mm-hmm. pissed that Durthu joined me. Um, oh, man. And then executed all his elves, and then declared <laughs> that they were probably just lost. And- oh, like, like. Put, put them under an insidious yeah. glamour to just use them as shock oh. troops and uh, you know an elf is worth less than a tree as far as I'm concerned I mean I keep sacrificing trees to buff my elves so hmm <laughs> we're in the dryads the lions right the lions feels strained somehow <laughs> <laughs> who even needs them what people people i literally grow on trees so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> would be haughty they are Let's they're like, more like yeah, more like sinister vibes mm, they're more like uh, they're very wild like um like feral that's how i would describe them probably mm-hmm. very bloodthirsty sort of instead of arthurian pictish people <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Body paints and screaming. Yeah, coming out of the forest weirdly and mists and stuff. Not as much as Malekith, but that is a no legend to follow. Oh, and he is right here. Speaking of. Mm-hmm. I think Well, Dave, it's your job to I think against I think he and Morathi are the oldest living creatures uh in, in Warhammer. Uh, perhaps exception of Master Mundi. Um, because I think Mor- Morathi is like cold 6,000 years old. But Mundi is not like the oldest slam. There's that guy who's just like a mummy. Yeah, but I, I would call him alive, you know? Yeah, I feel like he is alive. Lord, Lord Croak, is that his Yeah, name? Lord Croak. Oh, the High Elves declared war on me. You know what? You go ahead and do that. That's that's fine. Don't drag me into it, honestly. <laughs> uh, no, I am. Actually, maybe looking at looking at my current state, I could go rampaging through Ulthwan. 
You could turn. I have stuff to fight, and I, I really have. I have lizard folk down south to fight, mm -hmm. and I'd rather be friends with the high elves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, yeah, I think Marath is like six thousand years old, and, and Malekith is slightly younger because you know he's a child. Oh, but they are the only elves like alive from the Sundering, pretty much, except maybe the Shadow King. That do oh, this guy fucking. Oh, I see what he did. He gathered all of his dumb heroes into a doom stack, and now he's going for my poor forest. That's rudeness. I mean, that's I, that's what I do when I play him. Put them all in the starting army, and then go beat up Scar Snake. Oh yeah, I mean you have to. That's the, <laughs> that's the only way to do it. Dumb giant spider. Oh, that's that giant spider is. Uh... You know, I hope they find a reason to just like have Clang Engrand like go to Warhammer Three. Yeah, yeah, you want, you want them over there. A new hold. We came up with the old one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it turns out the construction was kind of faulty. Um, very in line with our general motivation to find a new <laughs> hold. That's the dwarven way. Everyone is raiding everything. Doesn't matter. It's time to kill. Person towards it. Tear it down. The truth you already shot. Oh! <laughs> exactly. Dearth is already. You don't have to. It's like, ah, but I like it now. It's like, oh no. <laughs> now it's just for my own sake. Yes, exactly. Your anguish sustains me. You know? Oh. Let's, uh, let's see, where is this hole? It's over here. It's a dig. Oh, hi! Charon. Well, let's create a lord to go with Soyshank and just do something. Would you just tell about Durthu over there? Do you need a lord? Yeah, I just need someone to go and, and colonize the thing right next to me here, so. Wait, didn't I? I feel like yeah, I... These guys don't really like me much. <laughs> yeah. It's now they're really mad that I'm allied to you. Yeah, well. I feel like that's a self... Like, they... Sort of a self-own, in a way, yeah. It's did, not really my fault. Did this to yourselves. Like, we are incredibly angry at you for being friends with someone we are angry with. You know, like, I mean, kinda. You made a decision to <laughs> yes, exactly. take this fight. They were nowhere near you doing anything about <laughs> it. But. I would like to upgrade this place, Gain Vale, though. It's a nice, it's a nice place. Mm -hmm. Just... Man, I'm gonna. I'm afraid if, I, if I declare war upon the High Elves, I'm gonna be stuck in this fight with both Nagarond and Ulthwan, which seems like <laughs> not how that should go. Mm. They should fight each other, not both of them fighting me. I will have so. uh, I will have three heroes and lords in my armor with mag magical reserves, so only there's like 45 wins of magic plus every other bonus I have. So I'm, I'm guessing my wins of magic situation with Draka's armor is gonna be like. I don't know, 60 or something completely insane. <laughs> you can like three wizards and then a bunch of stuff to recover the, yeah. gain the magic faster. Everyone has arcane conduits. It's just mm -hmm. spamming it constantly. It'll be great. I'm gonna assassinate this guy. I'll try to. No, nope, failed. I'm really good friends with Alizanar, though. All right. Uh, I, know what I, should get, I should get the Sword of King. That seems... You should, yes. Who would I even put it on, though? All my people are ranged. Um, you put it on a hero? Lady with this. Yeah, I can, but they're also ranged. Oh. I guess a spell singer, but... <laughs> it's the angriest wizard. I mean, I played, um, played a campaign with uh, Valky a while back where he played Alaria, the Ever Queen, and took the Sword of Cain and just had her murder, like, run, run, murder people on the battlefield. It was great. It was fun because you click on her and she's like, Eternal Light! And then you just had the Sword of Cain. You're like, uh. Make a snack. <laughs> Is the Sword of Cain the most powerful weapon in Warhammer Fantasy, do you think? I mean, I would say yes. 
without any any time. I think it is. I think it's greater power than Galmaras. It certainly is older. Yes. And it's sort of an, this primordial cursed weapon of, of eons past. Yeah. So I I would figure yeah. You would figure yeah. All right. I would buy it. The sort of king. Yeah. <laughs> I'll buy that for a dollar. Probably not though, because you know, it sort of speaks to you of murder and stuff, and I, that seems. And that'd be good for long-term mental health. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Warhammer Health Awareness Month. Yeah, you know what people need in in Warhammer? We need like a we need like a sponsor. Or yeah. <laughs> you know what Cal Brands needs sometimes? He just needs to go to some spa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I should go fight with Elizabeth. You should. Hello. Actually encountered. I like slam. Hello. Or declared. I mean, just, you know, exactly. More wars. I mean, who cares at this point? Yeah. Total war. In the name. Instead of finishing one of the fights, I mean, I just go pick another one. It, is, uh -huh. it works every time. Um, all right. I could probably uh, say it's like on the line, but I feel like we could. Man, there's so many blessed guys, though. They're good at that. So many blessed guys. Um, I remember blessed temple guard, the the front line that never breaks. <laughs> it's not temple guard. It's Sora's warriors with shields. Uh, but um, I think I think it, you know I think we should fight it just because I think they have a wall. Yeah. And I think that's to our benefit to some degree. That and sounds. If they had a wall, would I actually be able to do it? That's true. That's a lot of blessed. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Blessed Saurus. Ugh, they are. They're toughies and a banana flavored slan. Mm -hmm. Like little slan pictures, like <laughs> just <laughs> just burping or like seeing something very surprising. Have a wall, so this is actually a lot harder than. Yeah. Which is just such a weird thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they don't have a wall. <laughs> My God. Well, looking around, I feel like this has already been sort of made into our. There's a waste stones everywhere. <clears throat> Stonehenge. Yeah, certainly feels certainly feels wood elfy. Yeah. Right, some stag knights and some hockeys. Cavalry. The bows of Athelorand. <laughs> yes. These dryads probably should replace them with something better. Probably. For you, pretty much anything is better. My dryads is kind of all I have <laughs> in the front line. But they are friends, so it's not bad. No, they're not bad. I've had them just as like my anti-inventory anti stuff, but... Mm -hmm. I we'll have a beast, beast caster on a mm. So let's go and uh, do them as much damage as possible before they get close. Oh. Solar engine, huh? Watch out for the star beam from the solar engine. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, it's a whole goddamn thing. heard explosions but oh it's over there I, see. Like, <laughs> I was like why is i here why do i hear explosions like oh i see why i hear explosions mm. because sorcery is afoot
That's the temple guard. Good lord. Good lord in heaven. <clears throat> Man, I could summon a great eagle, but it just doesn't seem that good. <laughs> I know. The great eagles are... They're not great. They're probably the weakest of the monsters. Yeah, I think they are. It's... But, uh... I mean, it's a free monster, sorta, so... That's true. I think I might summon one and then use it to delay the enemies they fight a little bit in my, like, oh, shooting... Yeah. Uh, some throw it in, throw it in attacking like yeah, exactly. Just hold them up like a roadblock. Appreciate it. Like th this is your life as a summoned eagle. It's like you are diving in and dying. That is what you. That were the whole I mean, thing. Are they even real? You know. Yeah, I guess. Well, I'd even do it with my own eagle these days. <laughs> it's just an eagle. Wow, well, poor, poor Gwendolyn, or whatever he's called. <laughs> Not the one I'm writing, but oh. the one that. It's not special. Oh. We have a, still a non-special eagle? Oh, yes, I guess you do, yeah. Man, that guy has, has hung around, though. He's a goddamn veteran, not worse. <laughs> True. archery starting <laughs> had a l'oreal in this armor right yeah you do yeah yeah <laughs> these lesser men are in for a rough time Scouts, yeah. Alright, here comes the first solar engine shot into uh oh it's <laughs> trying to hit the eagle, I guess, or what is going on here? Whoa, 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 he's aiming that all around. <laughs> what is happening? Ah, oh, God, be <laughs> take that eagle. <laughs> oh, the poor eagle. Although he doesn't care, that's kind of funny. <laughs>
zoom in where they're like the magic arrows hit you see a steel skinks flying everywhere through the through the sky like ah! oh no <gasps> You know, I, I will say fighting these uh, lizard men uh, with uh, this wood elf army is so much easier than fighting them uh, with, say, uh, Wolfhart's army, <laughs> as you might recall. Yeah. Desperate, absolute desperate struggles. Just mm -hmm. scrape together a single win. Here, yeah, sort of. You know, supreme archery really is the solution. Problem is that we're running out of arrows, but you know. Yeah. We got spells aplenty. It is also fairly reminiscent of us. That one time we tried to invade Athalorn as the Empire and just drove in with like so much cav and Steve tanks and like we <laughs> pretty much got our asses handed to us. <laughs> we decided that that was not the future. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Since then, that is the only time I have invaded Athalorn when I play anything than but the Wood Elves because I remember. I, I remember what that forest did. And I'm like, no, 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 we're never yeah, touching that. Worth it, yeah. Whatever you think you can gain, you can gain more easily elsewhere. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so I like, props to uh, the developers of the game, I guess, to make Athalorn such a just absolute pain, you know, as it should be, right? Like, it should be almost impossible to get in there. And they did it, so... I don't know if it was their intention, necessarily, uh, but I certainly feel they did, so props to them for that. I mean, uh, you know, they surely they, they were like, well, let's make sure people don't just rush these wood elves. Mm -hmm. Destroy them super fast. That's the wood elves, that is sort of a safe zone. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, the only time I've actually lost a Wood Elf campaign is uh, like right in the beginning. If like a big beastman stack spawns right on top of your thing, uh, your your uh, Oak of Ages, and you didn't have enough to defend it, then uh, if they if they won that battle, uh, you would just lose the campaign straight out. I don't know if that's the case anymore, but that was certainly the case in the old campaign. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fleeing through the dwellers below, that's a good move. Mm -hmm. Let's run through. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Exactly. Uh, do we need to hunt anything down? No, not really. It's a. It's a Excellent. Ah! The odd result would have hurt me more. Mm -hmm, for sure. Kills are not that many because of the list of folk we're fighting, but um, mm -hmm. when you look at the enemies, kills and losses of 12 is exceptional. <laughs> well, it was 12 dryads as well, like no elf lives were lost, I feel. <laughs> yeah, it's like maybe a spearman. Maybe. It's always embarrassing to be the one spearman who died in a battle like this, you know? 
We'll name the whole place after him. Yeah, all right, sure. <laughs> Living fools of uh, Nufilar. It's yeah. not like anyone will know. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just take it. There we go. Another forest reclaimed. Hooray! <laughs> Meanwhile, in the old world, drudgery and death. <laughs> Sacred pools of Isha. Yeah, level four to start with. Nice. That's pretty good. Pretty good. And we leveled up. It's also nice. Um, like we're continuing to go for that lightning strike. Yeah, it's a good, good one. Thing there. When you uh, when you learn to love lightning strike is when you play the dwarfs. That's the first time you're like, actually, this lightning strike is like. Uh, key to my survival. I really need this <laughs> because there's so many orc things. <laughs> it looks like this faction. Did they had? Did they have nothing else? I don't think so. I, just, I think they just sat there. Well, now it's mine. We live here now. Good. We're now we can befriend Itza. Itza, that's we no <laughs> no. No. They're like grrr. <laughs> actions. Point is now we're growing all these forests because they take forever to grow, and now we can begin to actually get them up. So we get some more amber. I'm more like the amber. Behind that amber lies 35% more ammo for all the units. <laughs> I see it. One of these forests is going to become just ammunition. <laughs> Bridge, See, we could do damage to him with this stack, but I don't, we couldn't win, so. Alright, get okay. so, That's a shitty army he has, though. Like, that is just I know. a shitty he's shit being, army. He's being a bad rat, and I don't want to have, <laughs> yes. like, I got Malekith to watch out for. He is a bad rat. If I had both my stacks over there, maybe then I could like fight both, but mm. still, still it's not. I feel like I feel like just getting these trees up and going. So they can sort of defend themselves compared to most of what we have. It's true. They also pay for themselves, which is nice. Oh. Mm hmm. Is the College of Pyrotechnics doing something? No, this is a Maga Black Bog of some sort of green skin description. Um, can we win this? Maybe. We'll try. Right. The auto resolve is a bit generous here, but it's not enough to actually auto resolve it, uh, I think. But we'll try to win this. Okay. They don't really have anything like okay yeah frontline except the wolves that's the dangerous stuff and mugger himself but uh i mm. think i think the goblin is that powerful they're rebels it seems oh apparently they're angry with the forest sorry i didn't see that <laughs> uh, i could see i could see wind coming from this mm, the the tree you got anti-infantry units you got some those wildwood scouts. Yeah, the trees are good at this. So we have a little forest that we can hang out in, so. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna hang in this forest, I think. Can I hide in it though? That's the question. Lauren. 
never miss. Let's go. Swiftly now. The bait in the riders. Or? That's the that's the hope. This is unusual. <laughs> yeah. The archers don't charge us. This little hill oh. inkling is of a problem. I don't want to really crest it too much either. Mm -hmm. They're right behind it. They can't. But they stop charging to exchange missile fire. Because, mm -hmm, you know, they're smart like that. What do you think about orc arrow boys compared to goblin archers? <sighs> orc arrow boys are... they do more damage. Um, so I prefer them to normal goblin archers, but... Um, are they worth the cost, though? <sighs> you know... That's okay. is to damage enough units that you can make the general just run away. Yeah. He's a wizard. He is a wizard. At least he won't engage really. I don't. Nightcom's actually chopping up the dryads in a way that I'm not too pleased with. Well, night goblins are kind of nasty. Well, I mean they're not they're not good. No. And they're they no sneaky stabbers, but no, no, they're not. Luckily, this entire uh, line. Why would he do that? That was devastating for him. All right, be careful you don't actually run him down there and engage him too much. Yeah, yeah. Alright, those guys are running forever. These guys, get this guy in here. <laughs> Sneaky stabbing. Oh no. The foot. One thing they didn't have was heart. <laughs> yes, he's close to running. Yep. They cause fear, the dryads are scary, so...
Surround him. Beat him. <laughs> Punch him by your black bug with your branches. Their, their attack animations do look somewhat weird sometimes. This was just like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not easy fighting when you're a tree. Ah, he's running. There we go. Just as we ran out of arrows. Yep, perfect. Our no <laughs> rebellion. <laughs> nope, no rebellion in these trees. I mean, if a human player had played Mega Black Bog, this would not have been winnable, I oh, think. Yeah. That's like there wouldn't be a chance. But um, you would have moved in, lured out the dryads, then surrounded the archers with yeah, the Yeah, exactly. But um this is the this is the rebellion story you don't hear of the goblins organizing a rebellion of resistance cells against the dry dryads of <laughs> <laughs> the oppressors of the forest. <laughs> Because Draken knows that fungus are not plants. So. That's true. That, that is a line she has drawn. Much closer to meat than comfortable. <laughs> In fact, fungus infects and eats plants, and she doesn't like it. I, you know, makes sense when you say it like that, right? Oh, we got a, a hot 300 gold from that skirmish. Wow. Just yeah. Approach. Such bounty. Right, let's investigate here. Well, fun ending. Test it. That's a. Uh... Armor fortune. Hey. Uh, There's a lot of ruins here. Better scaven in all of these. I mean, probably, yeah. Take a look over here. Hello. Oh. <laughs> okay. We ought to resolve this, I guess. <laughs> These guys are going to beat them down. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Um, hey, fuckers. <laughs> 438 kills. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that strategy works. Just him showing up and being crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> Like, my lord, there is... We're being invaded. My god, but one army. It's not an army, my lord. It's one tree has shown up. He's just punching. The poor rats, they're trying, but they can't stop him. Protector of the forest. They never could. They will die. All right. Well, some semblance of control over here. It's nice I was waiting for, like, world walkers in Norska to declare war on me, so I'll be stuck up here for the rest of eternity. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's the fight we have to fight. Uh, we need more money before we can send good old Durthu to do well anything really. On well, the plus side, the AI hasn't spent his skill points on anything dumb. That's good. It's always a plus. Yep. All right. Oh, uh, let's dig over here. Rebellion is gathering power. Mugga Black Bog is gonna. At least Malekith's stack is kind of bad. All of it is yeah. really high rank, but. Yeah. It's mostly spearmen. The second stack is coming. That might be different. I can't see mm. that. Daith might have a chance here to kill Malekith before he links up with the other one. <clears throat> Little whispers in the wood. Yeah, I've had that going on a lot. I haven't cared about it in a while <laughs> because I'm simply busy, you know. Yeah, I'm sure you'd some of mine if I just. I'm too busy for quests, man. Let's see here. Lizardmen coming into my land. Fundant growth. Lizardmen punished. 
I have a tree spirit. No, can't do that. Um, no, I'm gonna have to attack the lizard folk. That's uh, that's an over song. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That damaged you more than I thought it would. Thanks. It's okay. Here. Okay. So what 50-50 I think we might have to fight this battle. Okay. Doke. Malikis. I am ready for battle. This chariot. Ugh. It's a strange weird what, army. Uh, yeah, we are done. Well, the dark charts is is really what's dangerous here. The chariots, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, this shouldn't be much of a problem. Glamour Weaver Day. <laughs> still funny. <laughs> it doesn't have any magic, but it's still glamour weaves. <laughs> you know, it's a job. You have to take it. <laughs> yes, in, the, in this economy. Um, this place again. See, there's a sunk boat, but I don't know where they were trying to go by sailing <laughs> in here. <laughs> well, you know. I guess downriver, maybe? Uh, like probably. Uh, big oh, boat, yeah. though. It is a huge boat. Looks imperial more than elven. It's like the one in black and white. Hmm. And someone built this watchtower thing like in the middle of it as well. So yeah, no, we need to definitely keep on watch of this wreck in this swamp. And for the love of God, don't skimp out on the spikes. <laughs> we need Lots of bladed spikes on, on this wrought iron tower. Um, How much cavalry is too much cavalry for you to handle? I'm going to keep the swords myself and then you can have these three. Certainly. Your command. As you say. The swords are more like, they're not cav, they're like anti-large like hammer mm -hmm. people. Or hammer, they're like they're like tortoise. Well, they have to like, yes, that's my plan. So. Yeah, that's perfect. Fine, they're good. That. They're like tortoise, like uh, kentars, I guess. <laughs> kind of like, I mean, they're dragon ogres, basically. Yeah. They're just like different, different subgroup, I guess. Sure. It's just I see. It's like that's a tortoise face, like a snapping turtle. The big hammer. Yeah. Well, it's not something you want to find in an alleyway. <laughs> Snapping turtle with a hammer. <laughs> it's like, hey, give me, uh, give me money. What, what you got there? I don't want to find a snapping turtle. Normally, they're very scary. Yeah, the thing they do to watermel watermelons, it's like, yeah, it's boy, it's just it's crushed them completely. They're unrepentant about it too. <laughs> yes, the, no regrets from the snapping turtle. Spit out the bits and then yeah. they look. I look around in bloodthirst and triumph. It's like, yeah, who else wants them? War. <laughs> Do snapping turtles actually eat flesh or is it just what I believe when I see them? You know, I, I'm actually not sure. What would be your, your professional opinion uh, without knowing anything? What would be your uh, professional guess of what snapping turtles eating habits? Uh, I would figure they're opportunistic omnivores. Mm. Which means that they eat whatever they can sort of get that... their, their hands on. Yeah. Could be you, could be something else. I don't, oh, I don't no. think they're digesting meat. I just don't think they 
I usually can can get to easily. Probably eat things that are none too fast. Mm. They they seem like ambush yeah. predators. <laughs> if anything, like they lay in wait and just they have that snap they can do like and not much else. <laughs> mice and such. Oh yeah, maybe they could uh, they could get their hands on. Maybe lizards of various sorts. Whatever lives in like the swamps of Florida. They're basically alternate, alternate like the alligators. Mm. Would eat a zebra. But... <laughs> <laughs> a snapping turtle launch at a zebra. <laughs> those cold one chariots, they they didn't have. Good time. They didn't have a good time. No. Turns out armor piercing. Uh, all right, let's circle around and handle these archers. Hey, comes Malekith. Sewed him up. Do you want my help with Malekith instead, or should I just go? That'd be your thing. I'll right. so, guys, <laughs> he saw the snapping turtles with happens. He's like, oh shit, <laughs> I need to get out of here. Get him. Reach back on the menu, boys. <laughs> That's right. We tend to rise with these big hammers. Uh, Malekith is not having a good time against the hammers. Doesn't, doesn't like it. <clears throat> Thank you for the free uh, free upgrade trait, Malekith. <laughs> I think I have it already. But yeah. yeah. That said, could probably toss and heal. I think they have bound spells. Those guys. This. Enigmas of Gyran. Oh yeah, regrowth. Yes, very good. <clears throat> I like your good squad of heroes. Just four of them just standing there. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Lazily shooting their bows. I would normally make them snipe out the enemy hero, but I feel like these these guys have, have got, mm -hmm. got him under control, so I'll they can just shoot. I feel like. Right. <clears throat> well, his archers are offline. Malekith is dead, clubbed to death by soats of all things. Oh, I lost the soat. It's a very angry chariot over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> One of those kill as much as we can. Yep. I am on it. What should we call them? This is famous murder times. You won't really shut up. Let me get to Dead. 
was a definite priority. Yeah. crossbow dude who was still being hunted down. <laughs> I would all say that was a success. I would say, yeah. All the loot. <laughs> Come on, loading. You can do this. Man, it's depressing. I, uh, I, I'm still waiting for my computer that I bought around the turn of the year and they're like well you're in spot 16 for a graphics card now and i'm like oh that's good because that might actually be you know this month and then they're like and you're spot 350 for a processor and i'm like my god 350 for a processor like what the fuck i thought i thought what i thought that like the, the the cryptocurrency mining was the reason there was such a shortage of you know uh, graphics card, but, but uh, <clears throat> people don't talk about the processor shortage. <laughs> I guess invest in hardware production. I, I'll say, yeah. Good lord. <clears throat> it's just, uh, let's just auto-resolve this one. Get too many fights. Okay. Nigeria. Oh, oh, there we go. Najira Moon Shadow. Yeah, it was fine. Faith got a bit browbeat, but you know. Yes, Faith. These are dark times. <laughs> yes. You killed like two stacks of. So. I'd say he did pretty good there. I'll say, yeah. Now all the level. Now Daith can ride a forest dragon. Yeah. Ooh. Serves that.
Rictus. Yeah, stretch up to his his rafting mm -hmm. still. <laughs> Played this one. I feel like we can do. We can feel like we can do some damage to him that might make him unable to just keep doing this. All right, sounds good. I will hunt him down, but I would like him to not like. It's uh, back and forth we've been doing the whole game. Uh, do it to it. Uh, I mean, you know, again, the, the the one dangerous thing he has is the more fire throwers. Everything else is just absolute garbage. I will give you the, the stag knights and that yep. be your job. Yep. I'll, I'll hunt them. Down. There's a lot of slingers here. <clears throat> we, can, we can sit in the forest. That would be, that would be nice. nice. <laughs> what a dismal place to fight a bunch of rats. Ugh. Defending this like broken dark of mining outpost or whatever this is. He really is the most miserable of lords, like Tretch Craven tell you, like ugh. This is just there's nothing good. Nothing good about him. I mean, we can vanguard most of it, maybe? Uh... We can. Sit in this forest over here. I think we fight third and forest, too. So. We do. Yeah. <laughs> Don't miss that. I'll, I'll just have them. Oh, Stacks okay. here in the middle, because that'll probably just behoove him to rush forward, and you can get a flank shooting in. All right. All right. Do it to it. I'm pulling away like half his force and the Lord over here, so. Yeah, I'll try to go over the rest then. Ideally, I can just hide just below like the arch of this hill, the crest, so that I can avoid getting shot by the wolf fire yeah, Let's see.
Ooh, those poor tree can get a wolfire's throat. Yeah, they, they, they... I've been trying to just catch up to them. <laughs> well, these ones are going to be shut down. That's right. Come on. Okay. Oh, run. Ooh. I'll cut across and kill the ones over there. Yeah, please. I was hoping you could, you could just because I can't catch it and I need my sister no! to coalesce and to stop the, stop a route basically Thanks. Hello, Wick. And now to uh, go for the slavers. <laughs> Slinging should be shut down now. Most of them. The horns. We need to think about fleeing, just Sound overall. So. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <coughs> Turns out, uh, Tretch Craven Tail might not be the best lord, like the lead things. There, I'll bounce over with these guys. Just a grindy blood fest in the forest. <laughs> it's just like that scene in, at the end of Two Towers. <laughs> you see the forest shaking. Yeah, they are outlasting us at the moment. Yeah. So many of them. There's a lot of them. <clears throat> oh, God. What? How are you stabilizing? 
slingers. The Lord Tretch joined in. Not necessarily broken yet, but looking grim. Yeah. But again, we're just here to do damage, really. So. Oh, we've done damage. Mm -hmm. Damage has been done. <clears throat> Quickly! Flatten them! I'm hoping if we can just cycle charge and break them enough times, they might just shatter, you know, after a while. So even though the slingers can't really put up a fight, you know, when it has four or five of them and they all like sort of concave shoot at you, they, they whittle you down after a while. Yeah. It's rat pebbles. Just running. Damn it. It's it. It's it. Ah. You know, did well considering. Yeah, I think I think so. got rid of the oh, five flowers. Yep. Maybe force him to stop here so we can come and get him with Dave. <clears throat> Do you have to go at 11 today? Uh, yeah, rough, roughly around that time, yep. We tried to uh, start up our... Uh, in these sessions again last week but uh, ended in a terrible failure because one person felt sick so he was staying at home and the other guy uh, overslept <laughs> so we we're like you know out of uh, out of five players we had three so uh kind of awkward so we played board games instead what board game uh village attacks which uh, is a it's a board game where you play uh a host of legendary monsters trying to defend your evil castle from the village who is like storming you with pitchforks to try to kill you. <laughs> All right. Like a cooperative, uh, like wave-based defense game, I guess. You're trying to protect your, your castle treasury from storming and looting villagers. Uh, so you, you play things like a banshee, the Dullahan, vampire, lich, uh, succubus, stuff like that. Mm hmm uh, it's quite difficult uh, and quite fun. It's a lot of like strategy and tactics and stuff involved. So, operative game has to be. Yeah. Hmm. Hans Marshall Expedition is dead. All right. <laughs> Guess it didn't survive. Oh, yeah, I uh, can recommend if ever you're looking for like a cooperative game to play with a group of people. It's uh, it's good fun. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, can you go anywhere, Dulric the Forgotten? Uh, you can go to Savastra actually. Do that. Texture of the forest. 
Moving. Treading Ooh. silently. Mm, Dorothy, you're hanging out because we simply don't have the finances currently to do much with you, I'm sorry to say. Um... Um, yeah, it's very depressing. My my elf recruiting building only goes to rank two, and it's like, yeah, no, this that's only gonna be good over here for you, buddy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh. Community. Mm -hmm. Magic for, for Ariel, obviously. Yep. Obviously. Ah, uh, see if we have a high elf invasion coming. <laughs> I need to find some new... I need to fight in a place I don't care about where there's orcs. So Okay. Elflands. Sure, sure. There's Just that uh, there's, there's plenty of orcs down here, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Thinking about it. Just gonna wait for the, the... Hello, oh, Grace. <laughs> they want a thousand gold from me and they will join the war against Ite. That seems delicious. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, we we accept. You go and fight Etain. Well, that's fun. Good, good. <laughs> Excellent. And I didn't even have to ask for it. They offer. It's like, yeah, uh, we can't like declare war, but if you <laughs> were to, you know, offer small consideration. Like when Sweden uh, plotted to attack itself so it could declare war on Russia. Oh. Yes, uh, it was like in the Swedish constitution back in the day uh, when this happened. It was like, oh, the, the king is not able to declare war on himself. Like himself, he needs the, the, the parliament agreement for that. But mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> he was like, well, you know, that, that doesn't ma matter if we get attacked. Then I just get my war powers and I can do whatever I want. So he... Uh, like dressed up uh some like 
Swedish soldiers in Russian Cossack uniforms and sent them out into the forest to fake an attack on Sweden from Russia so he could declare war. <laughs> Yeah. The um the the problem was though that the uh, Swedish infiltrators uh, actually ran across a Russian patrol <laughs> like inside the Swedish border and very confused fighting uh, erupted and the game was like ah, ha, ha, I told you they're coming for us and then declared war and took took power so you know that's how it worked back then. Yeah. The flimsiest excuse. Mhm. Mm Like uh, that uh, Crusader Kings thing, you know, you you need you need proper cause to start a war, right? So you send your Chamberlain or whatever to find proper cause. <laughs> it's like you go, go on, just you know, find a way. A reason. Yeah, find a yeah, reason. It's related to someone somehow. Yeah, exactly. Well, let's uh, let's take this. Oh, I guess we have a fight in our hands. Uh, why? Oh, it's a uh, it's Throt. Oh, there's actually lots of weapons. Lots of weapons teams. Good lord, man! <laughs> he has uh six, seven war fire throwers. Uh, he has five rattling gunners, and the rest is slaves and heroes. It's like wolf time. Yeah, that's wolf time for you. Ultra Soul was like, no, there's no way. I believe there is a way. Yeah, I believe it's hard not to have a way. It's a lot of allies, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is this is the last one of the last of his bastions, I believe. So, kind of impressive though. It has the tech to actually do storm vermin and weapons teams and stuff up here. But I guess I guess there is a big city up like just north of here. He could be. You know, Thoditus has been fighting. Uh, Clan Molder for a while now. Uh, it is known. Alright, I'll give you flyers. Medicine. Flyers and wolfies. And I'll keep the spiders for myself. We are gonna go in there and beat him to death. Get him! Get him, boys! down because this is going to be a fucking mess <clears throat> so I can brown beat this engineer Some manner of sorcery is going on. I'll source her back.
We have weapons team still active. <clears throat> There's a lot of them. There is. There are a lot of them in the back there. Oh, yeah. All right. Pull up the spiders. Let's go over here. Do come into my parlor. These stupid heroes. Yeah, I'm gonna put this back to normal. My, my three men are pretty much invulnerable to damage, as far as I can tell from <laughs> from this <laughs> stuff going on here. They're like, they're, I guess Throt can, can do some damage to him, but like, generally here... They don't, they don't take a lot in... No. I don't really give a fuck here. sort of a kill everything situation so
I should be fine. No other high value targets around really I can see. There we go. Wolves, man. <laughs> yep. They. they man, they, they're good. They're really, really good. These spiders are pretty bunk. So, <laughs> the spiders have their use, but they do. I, guess too. I have a farmer piercing and poison. That's the only reason, really. But as I get another amber, I can spend that to give like poison attacks to all my tree units. Ooh, that would be pretty sweet. <laughs> Four warp five throwers is all that left. <laughs> Most excellent. Led by Plague Plague Rolk. <laughs> oh, again, such good gaming names. Plague Rolk. Uh, Plague Rolk. Yeah. True hero of the gaming people. Hmm. All right. All right. Um. Good. Good. Meanwhile, uh, you go and sell this. Let's see, what can we build here actually? Uh, what is this? Uh, uh, I have all the economy buildings, so that's good. I have. I don't care about the elf buildings. Uh, let's. Uh, yeah, the roots of Gyran. Or untainted up and up and running here. Uh Rika. Mm, well, I'm gonna take out the ghosts. Spooky scary ghosts. Ugh. I'm afraid this is another fight because Ultra Soul was like, Good lord, what are you trying to do? Dwarves. Belagor mm -hmm. Iron Hammer. Famed for his thick armor. Yep. Yeah, he's one of the tankiest lords in the game, I think. Mm -hmm. Doesn't do much damage necessarily, but he can hold the line. Certainly can. Hmm. It was a really good. He like he has a special skill tree for rangers. So when you play him, you want like just rangers up the wazoo, pretty much. Some Bokman's rangers are pretty good. They are really good. Yeah. Um. Well. There you go. Fly squad. Bird team. Yeah. Team bird. This is the modern face of my armies, is tree men and wolves and critters and nothing else. Because I don't have to. Alright, ready? Let's go. 
Uh, walls break down the doors, as is your absolute best skill. Uh, let's do it to it. Move the spiders up as you advance, just so they don't get left behind. The spiders are quick. Uh, I'm just leaving them there for now because they can't break down the doors as quickly as the wolves, and they are more than halfway through. Or three minutes even come up to the wall they are through. Yep, there goes the doors. In with the tree men. Get birds on the walls. Push through. Dryads actually do magic damage. They are actually really good against these ghosts. Because the ghosts rely on uh, their fearless. And they're like, my god, why? <laughs> she thorns, the one gets a buff. I think I just killed off that ghost, huh? Alright, awesome. That ghost is toast. That's to that guy. There's one on the wall of it, but it's off. But... Yep, yep. Oh, magic bird. You know, that, that we cleaned up out here pretty well. That is also. It's uh, surprisingly fast, actually. A ghost can have fear when he's colored in this many birds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Didn't come back to avenge his ancestors for this shit. It's a long way from here to carry. <laughs> There's not... more to the wall side. This is not what was promised him. <laughs> Not even a grumble will fix this, he might have to raise his voice. <laughs> right. There we go. One dwarf left in Moria. He's gonna get uh, dry out of here. Ah, see how quickly they actually kill this guy. Since they have magic damage. He is a fighter, but King Lun, the Iron Hammer. Ah, King Lun is actually fighting back very well here. I don't know, he's losing to one stack of dryads, I feel like. They're good damage shooting now. Yeah. Uh, oh, come on. Kill. There we go. Victory. 
Lon. Back. Kinghammer, leadership plus four, Sudry subterranean intercept battles. And melee attack plus ten, doing the same. Uh, that doesn't seem like a good trait necessarily. Oh well. We do what we must because we care. Mm-hmm. of thorns and you get something. Um gosh, I guess I give you doom bolts, yeah, why not? Fine. Uh, all right, that's my turn. Proud son of Apollora. If he's still here, bastard. Oh, he isn't. It actually just is empty. Right. Hmm. Kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh. Considering actually taking Itza. It's a good city. It's the, it the first city, I'm told. And uh, beyond that, it, it's it's like a city that can actually be defended. Yeah. And held, and, and I can have it. Yeah. You need it anyway. I mean, it's Heartland. All of this is Heartland around it, right? Yes. And there's gold. <laughs> yes, mustn't forget. <laughs> it's not even important. It's just a small note of of gold. Yes, yes. 
bit of paltry precious metal. <laughs> well, you know. Mustn't forget the gold, Malik. Just a bit of, bit of a precious stones, perhaps. Mm -hmm. It's it's strong, though. stronger than I am. Not as strong as Negron, though. They seemingly have done very well for themselves. Yeah. Negron always does. I feel like they always just get huge. They do. They the uh... oh, right, so <laughs> Vermtich. Um, last stand of Clan Molder, I take it. Hmm. Yep, there we go. Destroyed. Okay. You were saying? Uh, I was uh, playing a Dark Elf campaign uh, with a friend of mine. Uh, I was playing uh, Malus Dark Blade on um, uh, Mortal Empires. So you start like down and oh, here we go. Here comes Throg, of course. Um, so you start um down in the corner the the like southeast corner uh with something called the dragon isles yes and then you have high grief as a province back home as your capital but in the beginning you can sell off high grief for twenty thousand gold you just oh. leave that be and get like a head start so to speak so i did that i was like you know what i'm down here this is where i want my campaign to be i don't want to be up there in nagaron because i played so much malekith you know uh, so I did. It's actually quite a fun campaign. It's very, uh, it's a very different type of Dark Elf campaign because you like mountains is like one of the things you can take. So like you basically go to war with all the dwarves and orcs down in the mountains, uh, and it's quite interesting. And then Malus has his own like campaign stuff with the demon that talks to him and, and things. Um, it's kind of cool. Um, might be uh, my preferred Dark Elf campaign. I don't know. It's, uh, I like it. All right, there's a there's a frog invasion coming for sure over there. I can see it. I need to just kill off Arcstorm here. <sighs> I said kill off Arcstorm. Not leave him just standing. Oh well. Yeah. Well, because it border crag is definitely lost there's no way i can stop that but it doesn't matter because it's just a tiny teeny province we're gonna we're gonna get throg oh we are oh yes yes my precious just stomp you out please a lot of stuff from him though, I will say. Ah, uh, can I? No, even if I march up there, I can't. Can't get past him. Yeah. Fifty percent for that, uh, which means I can. Like, Come can't... on, guys! Let's raid this forest. I can't move anywhere. I'll just stand here. There we go. Oof. <sighs> uh, get you evasion, I guess, and serve some more spells. Uh, what do we have? Brass cleaver, armor fortune. We have a pigeon plucker pendant, which is like whatever. Can we get something better than that? Yes, we can get board save. Uh, stuff from Dursu because who cares uh push of healing is good on you but we'll get you push of toughness instead i think it's gonna be a push of toughness hey that's good you can you actually can you be useful that's the question locking pathways All hail, yeah. Actually useful. Awesome. Protector. 
Hmm. Uh, the Forgotten. Yeah, well. No. I don't think I have anything for you to do necessarily. I can go and take Border Drac for chance. Alright, Bitter Bark is hanging out. Draka, uh, can I get peace with Belagar? That would be nice. <laughs> Only peace? true vengeance will make me happy. Is that what you are? Because I'm going for peace. You know, I feel like I can just go over there and beat you up, honestly, and take it. I'll do that. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oof. <laughs> Enhanced photosynthesis. Retrenchment so rate is increased by additional 5%. Passability regeneration. You know what? Yeah, let's have that. On photosynthesis on my trees. So do you know any friends? That's the cult of Sota. That's probably fine, right? Well they could actually get to my other stuff anyway. So. What is what is, what is even a Sotek, you know? How can it be a cult like just made up? A single whole Sotek. Oh, this is one of those places where I have to build a siege engine. Sotek, more like slow tech, if you know what I mean. And the twin building out. <laughs> Shoot everyone in there. Shit. The construction takes a long time. Yep, it does. It's difficult to build things when you can't use wood necessarily. <laughs> yes, hello. Yes, hi. It's just taking a long time for Ita's turn here. Oh. Uh, it's has passed for me. Hmm. Now it has for me too. Oh, okay. I think we'll like it. Uh, afraid we had a desync there for a sec. Yeah. It's happened before. Yeah, here we go. The circus. Rough. Okay. Sacked it. Yeah. Or I think like a hundred gold or whatever the sack value of those things are. So what I would have done there, if you were going to attack, you could have... I assumed it was a, a war of conquest, but uh, again, they are exceedingly dumb, so. Mm -hmm. 
No! Berserkers for days. Yep. Stop them here. Recruit everything. Yes, even the bats. Even the wild bats. Yeah, even the bats will be, get conscripted in the war here. Uh, assault units? Defender of Athelon. Do, do, do you remember? Remember in the olden days when we played Warhammer 1 and you had to actually deploy heroes in provinces for them to do their effects like they couldn't just stand there or be in an army you had to like take them out and actually have them like just stand there and exude their presence i guess <laughs> it's an ability on the capitals yeah never did it no okay they certainly learned and adopted because i see giant slayers here and those are actually quite dangerous for what we have. Luckily, only two of them. This is definitely a fighting situation. Okay. Sore. Defended by Groth, Redmane. Oh, no. It's a strong garrison. Yeah. Not much ranged anymore. No, no. Those two cannons, I don't really know about what they are supposed to do. But uh, these giant slayers are incredibly dangerous. I have bought such things before with big things, and they just get absolutely decimated. I have as the high elves uh, made really good use of the defensive ballistae in the like gate battles. Yeah. Uh, Alright, well... Fly my pretties. Weird lighting here, like difficult seeing. <laughs> Very yeah. odd. I'll up my brightness a tad. Go, um, hmm. Cannon. <laughs> Watch out for the cannon indeed. Mm -hmm. We go, go. So let's do it to it. Where are the giant slayers? Probably on the sides there, yeah. These wolves count as large. Uh, do they? I don't think they do. I think so. Uh, you know, against the... Might do okay against the Slayers, given the Slayers are not very armored. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. This dwarf made door is just broken down instantly. Yep, there's nothing. Nothing it can do. It's ridiculous. Like... It is absolutely ridiculous. It's a, it's a pack of wild wolves should be eight. <laughs> like it's not even wood. It's like dwarven metal. Yeah, it's just it's made out of just hard ass the metal. Could find because yeah. that's the right, and then wolves just, like lick it and breaks. <laughs> you know how it is in reality, right? Reality that I live in. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm just gonna do this. He seems to be really interested in stopping and killing the cannons. Moving a lot of things away from the house. Woo! Nuke them into the next week. Uh, 
Let's press through. Oh, he, he drew the slayers away? Uh, okay. We'll just stop me fighting this soon. These cannons. That was the thing, you know, with the with the wood elves, right? You, they just de redeploy so quickly. Like, the whole force is just now somewhere else, really. The walls are now lost. Uh, I think. Go on the AI to be like, you know what? Let's just set up another defense over here. Let's not try to salvage that catastrophe that is the walls. These arm breakers think of a doom bolt. Oh. No! <laughs> Alright. Alright. Oh. Alright. Weird little defense with the long beard here. Yeah. Target, you want to use grenades on it? No, what's the first thing we have? Slayers watching. Yep, yeah. it's too early to commit. Just the spiders to get in on them. Nothing here I really want to send the birds fighting. Mm. Oh, not really. I'll hold them back a bit and see if anything. We need flank or something. That's available in there. Oh, actually, the the giant slays are quite good. Oh, no. The spiders are being nuked in the back by grenades. That's probably why. Oh, <coughs> oh well. Oh, well. Well, we're in the press now. Let's see if we can get some of these guys. We can get in. Oh, birds versus iron breakers isn't like I would have chosen. Let's see how that no, the birds have. Yeah. They have armor yeah. piercing. They can do some stuff. Actually, focus by the. Trees, meanwhile, are taking barely any damage at all.
That should be that. Oh, Slayers, right. Uh, where are they? Oh, it's over there. There's like a guy. Oh, he got squished. There you go. Alright. Uh, again, the spiders sort of got chanked, but that's because they got grenaded in the back pretty hard. Do you think you would have could have won? You could have won this fight for them. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know. It's the um, it's the birds that are the main problem. I feel because the giant slayers can handle the trees, uh, but the birds need to be like you need your shooters, right, to help shoot down the trees and stuff. But if the birds get on them, that's tough. So you need to sort of handle the birds somehow. Yeah. Uh, maybe hard fight, especially with Drake, Kaodil, and the Dryad. I mean the wolves. I mean they're they're really good, but they're not against a nope. heavily armored front line. They they won't do very well. They don't have really armor piercing. The door while positioning everything else in nice little blocks right outside. <laughs> yeah. Six years and then. Use use the wall to guard your backs, not like actually stand on maybe. <laughs> um. Yeah, these wolves. What do they have armor piercing wise? Actually, they're actually quite armor piercing. Uh, but that's because of tech, I think. They have 20 armor piercing, which is a lot. I take it back. These wolves are great against anything. Anti-large, anti-small. Yeah. Give Kim a little uh, perfect vigor. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you want to fight Itza now or uh, or next? Ah, uh, we can do it now. All right. Might as well go out uh, on on the famed Itza. I think Itza is what is that map, you know, with the <laughs> with the L shape. Uh, that is the <laughs> easiest fight in the game, pretty much. Uh, so the garrison is always like horrendous and then the map is just makes it a an absolute joke. Good on resolve it even, but uh, I think it will actually hurt me more than it would help. A regrettable necessity. Battle, a regrettable necessity. Yes. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> ah, there just is no helping it. <laughs> Don't know what we could have done to. What could we have done differently to? Oh, yeah, it's this man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. They had a, you know, the good fight, it's a Yeah, good Did fight. You... Is it just me or does the defender of Itza Quirk Tin look very derpy in this picture? He's a good mouth like open. Mm -hmm. like <laughs> is, is he, he has just, is, is he mid sneeze or something? Apparently, it's a night in Itza. Just imagine, we can put birds in all those flying pyramids. And they yeah, live. yeah. Well, you, uh, you play with these, these guys. Sure thing. Drop this damn ram. Why do you have a ram? Dumbest thing I've ever heard. Rams. You look ridiculous. <laughs> I sort of thought we were going to storm a city. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> a ram. <What? laughs> yeah, a nice night outside until no one objects to us entering. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, seems to me like Itza has seen some shit. There's some ruins and leaning pillars and, you know, it just needs to be spruced up. Why would else? Oh, they have lasers. Yeah. Right, let's redeploy away from the lasers. Is that just skewered? Uh, skewered us. Let's make sure the range of the lasers, you know. And then... Let's line up some of this, so all these arrows, and <clears throat> let them do their thing, really. Oh. 
Wow, two hawks just straight up died in the first second. Good lord. Good lord. That's really after everything. Hmm. One of the sources had invented, like, you know, a bow. Yeah. No, that was not in the grand plan, I'm told. No, and it is the greatest plan. I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't. I wouldn't presume to. Be anything different. No, no, of course not. Walkright is lazily shooting at this feral stag, I don't know. <laughs> Actually doing good damage. They do like a thousand missile damage. Do they? Oh, yeah, they're, well, yeah, yeah, they're buffed. I mean, they're buffed to all hell. <laughs> it's time for Dragon Friend. Oh, hi, Dragon Friend. We'll breathe on the wall. Okay. Just eaten extra spicy food for this. <clears throat> real, real like, you know, heartburn acidic. <laughs> raining death. Oh no. Oh, oh yeah. Ah, hold the walls, whatever you do. The very distinct World War One quality to these fights. <laughs> it for them. Yeah. Here's the beautiful thing. You really can just do this shit on the other side of the wall too. <laughs> we have some trees. More toilets below. Never ready. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. Well, can I go and eat these Pterodon Riders? I feel I could. Hmm. Should I though? Probably not needed at the moment. No, you can take take care of really. I fun with some spells on, all right, on all right. inside. He, he can he has some he has some bound spells. She can cast some spells. It's all right, Forest Karen, let's go. Stop them. Stop them. What does it? Word of Pain, Soul Stealer, yes. Tempest, uh, Atheosis, Dwellers Below, Two Thorns, all right. And let's, uh, just. Think Avatar outside. Yeah. Oh, follow me. Charge out. <laughs> what? No one did. Uh, oh, I'll send the Ariel to kill the King Priest. Maybe she can. She's probably pretty good at this, right? Oh. So you give him a dart of doom. See what that does. <laughs> He's like, oh god! Oh, ho, ho, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Dumpstered him. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Beat him up. 
Fight of the Ages here. A L'Oreal the Epic. Oh, that poor little skink. <laughs> run, now. run, skink, run. I like that her attacks is like butterflies and water and stuff. Mm -hmm. Kind of fun. Um, mm -hmm. And these wells below are very cheap. Oh, I'll well, say so six, six magics to cast the wells below. Holy moly! It cast like it costs like twenty normally. There's a lot of cost reductions. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hello. We stand ready. That we are running out of arrows. Yeah. That said, they are running out of everything as well. So, well, there's some Croxigores in the back, I guess. But, I mean, you have spearmen in this army, so. Yes. I feel like that's not a problem. Not this King Priest Avatar coming out. Cavalry, at one. At one. Oh, oh, it went up. Okay. Oh, oh, start beating on the door. <laughs> Some temple guards have been blasted off the walls and trying to like walk back inside. <laughs> Only we had the technology of wolves. Yeah, I've heard wolves. Uh, wolves are the shit. Clean like Amber spears at the stack of them. Yeah, this is good measure. Yeah. Well, is below leisurely eating the cold one spear riders over there. Down that wall. There we go. Finally. At speed. Get him. Like the wind. <gasps> oh, he spelled us. My God. Just, just what a fight. Yeah, what a, what a victory. Tremendous difficulty. <laughs> zero. <laughs> zero kills by guys. Zero. On their entire roster. That laser killed like a couple of eagles and some spearmen, but yeah. Didn't. Good lord. Zero. Pro strats of oh I'll say oh, they should fix that wall honestly it's just yeah it's dumb 
It's so incredibly explosive. Nope. Uh, it might have crashed. Oh, no. There we go. Mm -hmm. Popped up for a sec. Be like, oh, yeah, I think I'm crashing. And then it actually sorted itself. So good work, game. Even. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, just about to throw up. Like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> There's surprisingly little special about this place. Yeah. Oh yeah. When do we fight? Oh, I have two building slots. Mm. Mm -hmm. One is a gold mine, the other one is a it's one of these standard buildings. Yeah. A gold mine might bring you up to I don't know, two hundred gold or something if you're lucky. One hundred. Oh, well. Yeah. Damn. Mm. Like the it's the augmentation to the skipper. Yeah. There's a tree man and a dragon already, so. I think more stuff like that's probably good. Yep. Alright. Um, Jeff knows. That's not herself. Awesome. You know what? I need to sack a bunch of things. So I think I'm just going to sack it. <laughs> Very well. Because then I can take it again and sack it next turn. You could, yes. I can just sack it until I do the mission. <laughs> what is the mission? To sack like 10 towns. Oh, gosh. So we'll see if that counts as me sacking like a bunch of different ones. Because it's a lot. And I don't usually do it, so... Let's just keep keep her in this game, Raven Tail. For a bit. Come on, see. Tyrion wants me to give him 300 gold. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, no, I don't. That's a strange request. Ah, uh, another So, not something we can really do much about there, so. Those Corsairs are uh, quite mean. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. More Another stacks. One. Double stacks. Yeah. Stacks forever. Does this mean nothing to you, Tyrion? <laughs> I'm literally holding back the tide of... Uh okay. Uh yeah, let's uh let's save it here then and next time we'll uh, resume back on this fight. Which is Ulrich Darkmane and Lamont Dahl. Um because we're up against Marauders and Berserkers versus the forest, pretty much. We can see how that goes. Sounds oh. good. And if you're if you're right then right now, you look at these the location of these um you won't do this next time, yeah? Yeah. You look at the location of these these wood elves and, and where they went, and you're like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> David Kislev? Yeah. I don't mind. Exactly, yeah. I'm not going to do much to stop that. <laughs> All right, well, uh, that's it.